Scorpio, welcome to your money and career reading for February, moving into March. I'm Robin Carlyon from Robin's Authentic Wellness Tarot, and thank you for visiting my channel. This is a 10 card reading. We're starting off with the situational energy. Oh, yes, Scorpio. <laughs> Yes, this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is amazing. Spirit, Spirit handing you this new abundance, new journey, new path. That is fantastic. That, uh, I was going to try and say Pentacle and Foundational at the same time. That definitely wasn't working out. So, the pentacle energy is the earth energy. This is the foundational energy. This most definitely means coins as in money, but it also means as the people, the foundation that surrounds you as well. That could be your workplace. That could be your family. That could be your coworkers as well. Um, this is really beautiful. So expect new things that are going to be happening for you, Scorpio. I love that. That's really exciting. Okay. And now moving into what may be coming up as your challenge. So you have two cards here. Interesting. So you have the seven of uh, wands and then you have the page of swords. Now for, hmm, for this, I'm kind of feeling like there could be um, a little bit of a standstill. Now, when this comes up as a challenge, I'm saying that it could be something that is just kind of like coming up, kind of blipping, kind of maybe making you see things from a different perspective. Okay, so this is a situation, new things coming up. Maybe whatever is happening for you currently, um, it, there might be like the standstill. It may be like you don't seem as determined anymore. Maybe there was a new job that came up. Maybe there was a new opportunity or something. Maybe there was something that you were investigating, that you were looking into, that you were researching. Um, this as well, like this meaning that there's new thoughts, new mindset that's coming up. I feel that, and it, it's like, I really feel that it's part of the uh, water energy that's coming up. So uh, right now we are, uh, as I'm recording this, we are currently in Aquarius energy, but we are coming up into Pisces energy. I do feel that it's the Pisces energy. There's some sort of intuitive um spirit coming through and, and and helping you see things from a different perspective. Um, I really like this here. It, it is going to uh, go back to um, the, the direct and it's going to be, yes, you're more determined than ever. And yes, Scorpio, um, your mindsets, like you receiving new clarity, um, like a lot of creation. I 100% I feel that is happening. However, do you currently feel that there's something that you're supposed to look at a little bit deeper, maybe not make a decision? Um, or maybe you're just supposed to change something up. So some of those things could be happening. If you don't resonate with that, um, then just leave it. But um, things are changing and there's new things that are happening for you now. Wow, this is really, really interesting because then you go uh, two levels up to the queen, okay? And you have the queen of swords, queen of swords, the queen of air, and then you have the eight. So this is another level up, one level up to the eight, from the seven to the eight. This one here talking about that there is a lot of things that are going on right now, Scorpio. And it means that things are really, really picking up momentum. This here is about being super clear, crystal clear with what it is that you are manifesting, with what it is that you want to create and no filler words. That's what I'm receiving from this is absolutely no filler words. So 
right beside each other in the belief placement. That is what you receive. This here is like no guff. This one is like, there is, there is like, um, the queen is speaking like clear, concise. This is it. And that's it. End of done. Okay. This also represents momentum is picking up and you will find that things are not standing in your way. Um, that's really, really interesting. Wow. I love that. This is going to be a really interesting reading, Scorpio. So the root of the reading. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness. This is amazing. So like how you have here the Ace of Pentacles, you have gifts of money. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is gorgeous, beautiful energy, balanced scales. This is giving is receiving. This is having money coming, manifesting money. This is also, um, it could represent retirement. So there could be some sort of retirement that's going on there too. Um, but very, very good energy, um, like bills getting paid, things are getting done. That's amazing. The six of pentacles. Now this one here is the eight of pentacles, and this is representing that all of the knowledge, all of the experience that you have gained up until now is really, um, what is the word called? Compounding. It is compounding one on top of the other. And just that wealth of knowledge that you have is really going to play a big factor as you move forward. You are getting all of your ducks in a row. You are getting so aligned. You have been being so strategic. And now I even understand this more. You have been being so strategic that I think it's almost like you're being you're you're being told that you have enough knowledge to do what it is that you want to do and maybe you feel like you have to work even harder for something um it's not going to be that hard really speak to the universe speak to spirit speak to whoever it is that you're talking to that you are having the relations with per business and finances and really crystal clear, say what you want, say what you mean. That's what I'm getting. Ooh, okay. And here is the four of pentacles. So this four of pentacles, the pentacles can represent spending money, saving money, holding money in, spending money too much. This also represents manifesting money. And this here is your present energy and you have the ability Scorpio to manifest the money that you want. This here is the uh, pentacles at the bottom of the feet. So that's the root, the sacral and the solar plexus. Then you have the heart chakra. You have the pentacle at the heart center, which is the center where the center chakra is. And then you have the other three chakras on top, which is the crown, the third eye and the throat chakra. So speaking, thinking, thoughts, and then your feelings for your bottom chakras, and then your heart, which has the electromagnetic frequency that tells the universe what you are thinking and how you are feeling, how you are manifesting, how you are imagining and feeling every feel of what it would feel like when you manifest what it is that you are looking for, whether that is money, whether that is a higher position, whatever that is for you that you are manifesting, keep practicing this here. Um, remembering that we are in the age of Aquarius and your ability, Scorpio, and you, Scorpio, are the strongest spiritual sign that there is, uh, the most intuitive, okay? And so with, with your energy, with everyone's energy, there is a heightened intuition that's going to keep continuing. Okay, I don't want to say you, but 
there are messages that may come through that that um, you'll reflect on and you'll be like, wow, you know what? I'm receiving, I'm noticing that I'm receiving a lot more. So stay tuned for that. Now, this one here is the five. This is the future card and this is that you are moving out of chaos and conflict. Again, this coming up really, really clear now that yes, there's a reason that these things are put on to hold because you are making some changes, you are making some shifts, okay? Big changes happening. Wow, that's awesome. Mm, okay, ooh, that's exciting, Scorpio. Uh-huh, now, this one here, internally, Scorpio, is there something that you are afraid to make a move on? Because this here is showing that it's an illusion. This is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, it shows that you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're bound. You feel like you don't have that clarity. But you do. All of these swords are all pointed down into the ground. They're not going anywhere. So therefore, they have absolutely no power over you. So it is time to move into the future and it is time to really like get out of that comfort zone and really move towards making that move to get out of that fear and and really into the new aligning energy that is here for you and look at this one this is the next card this is the uh, eighth placement, the eighth placement, and that is your external energy. This one here is the two of fire. The two of fire is representing that the world is in your hands. There are so many big shifts that are happening now. Really listen to your intuition. Listen to spirit coming through. Listen to all of these decisions, whether it's a pause and then it's a go, and then it's a getting out of conflict. So that that go, which I have here, is like with you being very, very clear on what it is that you want, the eight representing that things picking up momentum, but also that there is not going to be any obstacles in your way, okay? Ooh, I love this. So world in your hands, you are creating. You are creating. Now, this one here, this is representing that. Now, this is the ninth placement. This is the uh, hopes, dreams, and fears, okay? So this one representing that the, it is the three of swords. And this represents self-betrayal. It represents some betrayal in some sort of way. Now, in the business and finance, it can be exactly like you're moving out of the chaos and conflict you're moving out of a situation that is not serving you you have realized this you have paused on it and now you are clearing up your thoughts you are taking out the old the old communication the old way that you used to think the old way that you used to talk to so that's why this like talk to others and talk to yourself, okay? That's why this queen of swords has come up because you are going to be crystal clear. You can remove these swords from this pierced heart. The next sword here representing the third eye. Allow yourself to really listen to spirit. And I say this in like the most profound way. I was just having a conversation with another client about this and how messages are coming through stronger and stronger and stronger. Expect it. You are going to have these things come up in your mind very, very instantly and you may dismiss them. Please allow yourself to Hold on for a second and just ask, what is that thought about that just came in your head? Is that an idea? Is that something, is that, well, it's spirit, it's spirit, but is it spirit telling you the next move to make? So really allow yourself to listen to spirit. The next one here is the crown chakra. The crown chakra is for you to really Honor yourself with your mindset. Allow yourself to be open to the universe, 
to receive because there is a whole lot of receiving that's happening, okay? Gifts of money. There is money that's being attracted to you. You have all of the skills. You may be moving somewhere else, okay? Another company. You may be uh, receiving some sort of promotion. You may be leaving co-workers that were not, um, I want to say, like not conducive to your growth, okay? Now, oh, yes and the sun. This is the, this is the outcome. Sorry, I was going to say external, the outcome. So with this here, feel that sun, feel that power, feel that confident. This sun and the child in this, in this card here is representing for you to have that toddler mindset, for you to feel intuitively, Scorpio, that you are to go your own path, that you are to go without listening to all of the naysayers, do what you intuitively feel. This card here is about you not doing, not honoring yourself and not listening to yourself intuitively, okay? So this one here, really, really showing up to help and assist. It's not a bad card. It looks like a bad card. It's just a teachable moment, okay? So there is a lot <clears throat> of change that's happening here. There is a lot of fundamental change. There's a lot of growth that's happening. You are realizing that you are worth a whole lot more than where you may currently be right now. There is so much to look forward to, and there is a lot of you that for you professionally, for you financially, that there is so much growth. Uh, this is like one of, if not the best card in the deck, and you receive this as your completion card. That is amazing. There is a lot going on here, but it's going in steps and stages, and it is you realizing your worth. It's realizing that you can manifest and you can have that world in your hands, that you can create the gifts of money, receive that with all of that amazing, incredible knowledge. It's all about that clarity of mind and it's all about believing, believing that things are being removed, believing that there are no obstacles standing in your way and know that this is coming. I thank you so much, Scorpio, for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.